In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the new live albums feature in the Google Photos application so that you can automatically have new photos show up on your Chromecast, smart display, or even at grandma and grandpa's house. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now I'm really excited about this new update that came to the Google Photos application, because now I can choose a certain person, and whenever I take a photo of them, it will automatically add that photo to a certain album called a live album that will automatically update, so you'll always see new fresh photos on your Chromecast or your smart display. So let's head into the Google Home app and show you how it works. To get set up, the first thing that we're going to do is head into the Google Photos application. If you don't have this app on your phone, you can download it from the Play Store or the App Store. So we're gonna open this up and then we need to make sure that we have linked our account so it starts automatically uploading our photos from our phone. So up here, I'm gonna select the menu and then I'm gonna go down into the settings and then here I'm gonna to go to backup and sync. So there it's showing that my backup and sync is on and it's uploading at a high quality, which means that I can upload a free, unlimited amount of photos um, without ever having to pay, and they are set at a high quality. If you wanna pay for the original quality, you can do that, but it's going to cost you a little bit of money. So once you have that set up, you can then go over here into the Albums tab, and here you can see all the albums that you have created. Now, you may have no albums here, you may have a bunch of albums, but all we want to do is start right here with the new album. So when I select a new album, we now have two different options. So one is we have automatically add photos of people and pets. So that's the option where if it finds a new photo that you've taken of a person or a pet you've selected, it will automatically add that photo into the album and start displaying on all your devices or just into the album. Now the next option is to just select photos and add whatever you would like to a certain album. So first we're gonna start off by automatically adding photos to a album. So now it's going to pop up and show all the people that it has found within your pictures. And so you can go through and label them. I'll do probably a full tutorial on how to do all that kind of stuff. But for now, I'm just going to select me. If I wanted to, I could select my whole family right here, but we're just going to select me right now. And then here I have the option to notify me when new photos have been added. So I can see when I automatically added new photos, so I can go in and double check to make sure I want those photos in the album. So here I'm gonna select turn on, and now it's automatically going to find all the photos it can find of me. So I do wanna start off with a warning that when you do this option, it will find every photo of that person that you have selected, and they will all show up in this album. So once you create a photo album, you may want to go through and double check that all the photos that are in here are something you want. So let's say I find a picture I don't want in here. I can just long press on it, I can tap a few different ones, and if I wanna remove that photo, I can just select menu and select remove from album so it is no longer there. So whenever you create one of these albums, I suggest that you go through, scroll through, and just double check to make sure that there are no photos in there that you may not want to show up on your TV or other devices. Now, of course, depending on how many people you add, that's going to add more pictures into the album. Now, there is a limit to the amount of photos that can be added to a live album. Right here, I have another live album that I've created, and it is currently sitting at 9,998 items or pictures. Now, that is the max. 10,000 photos is the max for a live album or any album in Google Photos. Now, if you share the album with one person, and they add 10,000 photos, you can have 20,000 photos in one album, but just so you know, that is the limit, and I found that it reached that as soon as I created these, and I'm sure it's going to find a bunch of more photos of me, and then it will add that all the way up to 10,000. So if I wanted to edit this album, I can just go back into it, select Menu, Edit. Here I can add a name, so we can just call it Brett, so that we know what album we are looking at. So let's say I want to add somebody else to this album so it's automatically pulling pictures of them as well, say my wife. So if I go in here to the menu and I go down to options, here I have the option to add more people. So I can select the plus, there I could add her in, and then I can select turn on. Now here I have the same options to notify me and we'll get to the share option in a little bit. So now when I go back, it's gonna start finding photos of her and add them as well. And you can see that any photo that I'm in and she's in will already be in there. 
So it's not going to exclude people that you don't select. It will just find every photo of me that it has. So now let's go ahead and go back and let's say I wanna create a new album that's not a live album, just an album of different pictures that I really like. So here we would select new album. All right, so I'm gonna call this 2018 Fall Family Photos, and then I'm just going to select the Select Photos option. Now we recently had a bunch of family photos taken, so all I'm going to do is click and drag and select all of these. They're all pretty good photos, so I'm just gonna add all of them in. And uh, once I get to the bottom there, Wow, there's a lot of these. All right, once I get to the bottom, I'm gonna let go. I could go through and select any of the other photos that I would want to add, but I just want those in this album. So I'm going to select add, and now it's creating an album of just those photos. So it's not going to automatically update this with anyone's photos or anything. It's just the pictures that I selected. So I can go in here and see all those. I could remove any that I don't want the same way. I can long press menu, remove from album. If I wanted to turn this into a live album, I just go settings, options, and there I can automatically add people, but I don't want that done. Now that we have our album created, we can easily add it to our Chromecast just by changing the ambient mode in the Chromecast settings. All I'm going to do is make sure that I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi network as my Chromecast or smart display device. I'm gonna go into the Google Home application, and then I'm going to find that device that I want to adjust. So today we are going to go into the office and I'm going to use the Office TV. So I'm just using the new Chromecast. You can use Chromecast Ultra or any of the old Chromecast. And then down here in the bottom, you have the option to personalize the ambient mode. So this is what will allow you to change what is showing up on the Chromecast. Usually it's automatically selecting Art Gallery, but we're going to select Google Photos. And now it's going to find your most recent Google photo albums that you have created. All right, so there it found a bunch of albums. You may need to scroll to the top of the page. Now right here, it does give us the option to automatically select family and friends. So if I wanted to add a live album right from this menu, I could definitely do that. Or it has this feature to automatically select highlights that it finds. But here I have a few of the albums I just created. So here I have the Fall Family Photos album that I made and I have the Brett Live Photos album and there you can see it already found 6,000 photos. And one thing I do wanna mention with the Live Photos, it will remove like blurry photos and pictures of receipts or other photos that may not be needed in a live album even though I'm in there, it's going to try and remove any of the, those as well. But here we're just going to select the Fall Family Photos once I select it, you'll see that it checked, and then I just need to go back. And now you can see it's selected on Google Photos. Down here, we have a few more options where we can adjust what is shown on the ambient mode. We can show the different temperature, show the time, the device info, so the Wi-Fi network. Here I can have it show what album the photo comes from. And then here I can change the slideshow speed. So I can go five seconds, 10 seconds, 30, all the way up to 10 minutes. So let's just keep it at five seconds for now. And then as soon as I select back, it now has automatically updated the Chromecast and it's gonna start displaying those photos. Now, if I'm on my Google Home app, I can go back and see the last five photos. And then over on the Chromecast device, it's just going to continually replay through that album that I have selected. Now I can go in and add a bunch of different albums if I would like. So I can go back in here. I could select the album of me, the recent highlights, whatever. I can do multiple albums all at once. So now if I wanted to adjust the settings on my smart display, I would just need to go into the kitchen display here. Again, I will see the same options down here, personalize ambient mode, and then I can choose uh, all the same options there. I can go into the Google Photos, I can choose the live album, or I can choose other albums in there as well. All right, I'd say that looks pretty good. So we're gonna take this one step further. Let's say I create a live album or a regular album that I want to share to grandma and grandpa so that they can see those photos on their Chromecast. Sounds a little difficult, but it's pretty easy to do. Let me show you how it's done. So to share the album that I created with grandma and grandpa, I just need to go back into the Google Photos app, go to the Albums tab, and then down here, you'll see all those albums. So this is the album I'm going to share today. Now I'm just going to open it up. Now you have a few ways you can share it. One is you can click the share button right there, 
and then it will give you a link that you can share with them. The second option is in the menu here, and this is the way I prefer to do it, and then go into the options, and then right here you can turn on sharing. So this allows that album to be shared, so anyone with the link can see those photos, so be careful who you share that link with. So now here it is giving me a link, and you could copy it right to your clipboard, but then down here we have the option to invite people. So if I open this up, it's going to automatically pull people that I have in my family group or other people that I have communicated with on Google Photos. So I could easily tap one of them or up at the top here, I can actually just choose an email. So let's type in grandpa's email right here and then we're going to hit send. And once we hit send, he will receive an email about joining the shared album so that he can see those photos. So let's head on over to Grandma and Grandpa's house and set it up over there. All right, so now that I'm over at Grandma and Grandpa's house, here I have Grandpa's iPhone where I'm gonna set this up with. So as soon as I sent that notification, he received an email asking him to check out the Google Photo shared album. When he opens it up, he can select view album and then it will take him right to the Google Photos application. Now, if he doesn't have Google Photos, it'll most likely ask him to install it and get set up on his account. But since he already has it, he automatically joins the shared album and now he can see all of those photos. And now they are a part of his Google Photos library. So now that that is in his album, we can actually head back over into the Google Home application. Of course, we are on the same Wi-Fi network as the Chromecast here on the TV. You can also head into the Discover tab, and here on the Upstairs TV, we can select the three-dot menu and then Ambient Mode Settings. And then once we are in there, we need to select Google Photos. And here, his account has never added Google Photos, so I'm going to turn this on, and then I'm going to tap on his name so that I can add different photos into the album. So now you can see that right here, it's showing that new curated photos that I have custom created so as soon as we add that, and then we back out of this section, it will automatically start displaying those photos on his Chromecast. So they will continue to play unless I unshare the album with him, or he turns that album off and selects different albums. And again, he can combine this album with other photo albums that he has created from his Google Photos library. Now I could also invite others to join this album, and add photos so that they continually have new photos all the time from everyone in the family. I know that was a lot of work, but if this video helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe so that you can be notified of new and upcoming videos. All right, you have successfully completed today's tutorial. If you followed along, from now on, whenever you take a photo of somebody that you added to a live album, it will automatically show those photos up on the TV without you having to do anything else, which is pretty awesome. If you guys have any further questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see more tutorials all about the Chromecast, select the playlist over here. And to learn more about the Smart Display, select the playlist down here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.